Hello to everyone, my name is Osha. As you already saw, I have invited you to join a webinar European Aviation Current Opportunities for Commercial Pilots. If you have additional questions, you can always write me uh, to my email address, which is shown below, and I will answer them as soon as possible. So, let's get started! So, there is always a job out there to make you happy, so let's try to find it in this industry. Baltic Aviation Academy gets around 7,000 requests per year. Only 20% of pilots are exactly looking for the one most preferred type. The rest, 80% of pilots right now have no answer which type of aircraft is the best for their career. But the main common feature we have noticed is that pilots consider only one option to work with major airlines. But not all actually work with them. So majority of qualified pilots have to choose other options. So how to find the right type that after all investments in trainings the employment would be the only option so here are main purposes I have gathered you here. To talk about fleet structure in Europe, to check which airlines is hiring right now, uh, to suggest you some recommendations how to choose the right type, and to share opinion about Boeing versus Airbus, their pros and cons. And of course to uh, show you or to check the, uh, with you Europe forecast to 2030. Here you see that Europe uh, map is divided into four regions Scandinavia, West, Eastern Europe and UK Ireland so that it would be well easier to understand. We have checked how many aircrafts and what types Europe Airlines has in their fleet and with prospect to 2015. We see uh, that in West Europe the main part of the fleet is taking A320, Boeing 737 and A340. But there are even 11% of less popular or let's say smaller types of aircrafts like ATR, Embraer or Fokker. In UK Ireland region the structure of fleet is a bit different. It is usually A320s Boeing 737s and Boeing 757s and of course A330s. This region also has more of Boeing 747 and Boeing 777. Scandinavia is the most different region of all. Here Boeing 737 is the number one aircraft. One more interesting thing is that it has well will have in 2015 even 30 A380s, what is similar number of A320. Eastern region is more common to UK, Ireland region. The most popular types of aircrafts are A320, Boeing 737 and A330. 17 percent of all fleet is structured of less popular types. So, continuing the subject about Europe Airlines, we have also checked current job opportunities. So, all in all, there are 17 companies that hire pilots right now. Disregarding companies that are stable, well, it means they, they are not hiring and they are not firing pilots. The main trends human resources in airlines of each region are the two regions that hire pilots right now. 
it is UK and Ireland region and Eastern Europe region. West Europe and Scandinavia Airlines are accepting CVs. So we could check right now what the situation is in each. There are 24 companies that are positively disposed in West Europe. It is 46% of all and there are extra four airlines there that are expanding. So you could become an employee in one of 28 companies. In UK, Ireland region, uh, there are five airlines that hire pilots and four accept resumes. So 40% of all airlines in this region could be your target. 14 companies are stable or even have layoffs or suffer redundancy. Scandinavia region is the most different region. There are no companies that hire pilots right now. But there are 28% positively disposed airlines and accept CVs from, well, from pilots. One very good thing is that there is one company that is in a startup stage and will definitely expand. East Europe is a more stable region. There are even 11 airlines that look into the future positively. It means they are hiring or accept resumes. We have asked our Academy's Head of Trainings to suggest some tips how to choose a type. So he gave us uh, some thoughts and I want to share them of course with you. So he suggests to start from the beginning to make a research of airlines you prefer to work with. What types they have in their fleet, what they are hiring right now and maybe you will find that some agreements could be done already before your studies. You can find this information, of course, in internet. Choose a type that guarantees you incomes. So it means that don't make decisions only according to your wishes or price for trainings, of course. Investments into trainings are quite big, so your chosen type must deliver incomes that it would be worth doing. Small aircraft first, bigger later. What I want to say about that is that one of the best practices for new pilots is to start flying with smaller aircrafts, like Boeing 737 and only after John Bigger, like A330. By this you can get needed experience and airlines hire pilots for these aircrafts without experience easier. The career scenario could be well, to start flying as first officer with Boeing 737. Become a captain of this aircraft, then join, let's say, A330 as first officer and become a captain of this aircraft. Rotation right now is becoming bigger and the need of good captains is a priority. Choose type that conversion would be easy. The real sense of flying you can get only flying with half electronic, half mechanized aircraft like, well, Boeing. Having this experience, you can easily convert to electronic aircraft like Airbus. Reverse conversion is much more difficult because the feeling of controlling an aircraft according to electronics is quite different than controlling aircraft depending more well on yourself. Popular type, guarantee job. Think if the most popular types are the option. Competition then is bigger because all think about the same. Maybe an option would be to check less popular types, like Lufthansa. They are hiring right now pilots for all types and they have even 48 CRGs, 100-900 aircraft. Or I could remember another sample could be like Carpetier, that 63% of their fleet are structured from sub-2000 aircraft. So this is just an idea, think about it. We have made a research of our academy's instructors that hold trainings on Boeing and Airbus. We have tried to get their feedback about each type and their main differences according to, well, to their experience. So here is what we have found. I will start from Boeing. And here are notes that our instructors see about it. So instead of the fact that Boeing is like a machine that needs a control, 
This aircraft is simple to understand, easy to understand scan and flows and routines. Boeing is a reliable aircraft that has very good hardware system redundancy and has bigger switchers for big hands. One thing was noticed that when it is very hot temperatures outside, I mean when airplane is standing on the ground, air conditioning is working better in NG than in Classic. One more thing was mentioned that Boeing has moving throttle, so it is better to see what is going on. Electronic centralized aircraft monitor cover 95% of issues, but it does require discipline a methodical approach and good crew teamwork. And if you want to feel a sense of flying, you need to choose this type of aircraft. Plus, it has a no limitations on attitude. So if stick and rudder is your thing, this is your type. Airbus is the type that is mainly opposite to Boeing. I will start that control panel of Airbus is well designed. So if you know how to follow electronic centralized aircraft monitor, then you can feel with Airbus like a sense of eye-opening. Mainly, this aircraft is electronic aircraft. So electronic centralized aircraft monitor needs to be followed always, what could become a puzzle sometimes. What was noticed that even few weeks old aircraft has already constant minor malfunctions. The side stick is very sensitive and Airbus has small switchers, superior fly-by-wire and non-moving throttle, what is not always convenient. One more opposite thing from Boeing is that Airbus has limited attitude, but pilots mention one of the best things in it. It has a table, so you can always find where to put your coffee or ok to control Airbus easier. So we don't want to make any conclusions, just share our insight. Decision We have checked a main aircraft manufacturer's forecast to 2030 year, and they all agree that pilots' need will rise up. In the next 20 years, a need of pilots will double to 470,000 due to new arrivals of aircraft and retirement. Around 1,200 new aircraft in a year will be sold to world's airlines. Main reason for this will be to support broad and intermediate networks. Low-cost airlines will take the third place in the world aviation industry. The plan for 2030 year is that there will be around 39,500 aircraft. 34% of them will be satisfy a fleet replacement need. 51% will support fleet growth and the rest 15% will be used for maintaining need. We are gathered here to talk about Europe, so let's concentrate on that. According to the forecast, Europe will be the second region by new arrivals in the world. So this we also saw from, well, job opportunities. Europe's airlines are expanding. This chart shows that 21% of new arrivals in Europe will be twin aisle aircrafts. In 2030, I mean. 79% will be structured of single aisle aircrafts. The exact quantity of aircrafts in 2030 in Europe will be around 8,010 units. Only 6%, or 460 units, of them will be structured of, let's call, old aircraft. The rest, 94% or 7,550 units, will be new arrivals. So the fleet of all aircraft in 2030 will be structured like this. Twin aisle aircraft will be 1,780 units, or 22% of all new and remaining aircraft and 6,230 units will be single-aisle aircraft, or as you see here, 78%. So maybe some numbers well, were known for you already, but this is our insight too. So now we wish you to find your way in aviation highway. And now it is your turn.